What's going on guys? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to get motivated as a filmmaker. And I know all too well if you're talking about starting out making your first feature film or making your first short film and it's something that you've never done. Let's say maybe you shot a couple music videos for your friends but you really want to take it to the next level you want to do a, a bigger, more expansive project that sometimes when you think about it, it can be overwhelming. And I want to talk to you guys today about how to get motivated, how to get situated and, and get in that mindset of I'm going to make this project, I'm going to make this film. You know, 95% of filmmakers never make a second film, right? but you're at the front door of making your first film. And, you know, I encourage all of you to ask yourself a few questions because this will help motivate you as to why, right? Why do you want to make a movie? You have to answer that question for yourself because if you're going the indie route, and I can only speak on the indie route because I've never made a film, um, where I had big budgets and you know I had Hollywood backing and 30 crew members. I've never made those films, so I can't speak from that perspective. Now, I've been in front of the camera on those films, national commercials and all that stuff as an actor, um, so I know it from that perspective, but I don't know it from being behind the camera from that perspective. So when you say, hey, why do I wanna make a film? I'm just gonna answer for me and maybe it aligns with you or maybe it's just something completely different. Um, I've tried, I've tried quitting a bunch of times, right? I've tried quitting filmmaking so many times. And I mean, so many times I've been, I've been in this industry since 2006 and I've, I've tried to just be like, you know what? I've accomplished my goals. I've made movies. I wrote them, directed them, started them. Like I've, I've, I've filled that bucket, right? Because the only thing you need to satisfy is your self hunger. You don't need approval from anyone else to say, hey, you did a good job. You just need approval from yourself and the person you see when you look in the mirror. I've tried to quit so often because up until this point, I haven't made any profit on any of my films. Now, mind you, only two have released. Two more, um, Pizza Boy Rick and Always Smile. Uh, Pizza Boy Rick were released this year in 2024. That's been with the distributor. They've had it for like eight months and it hasn't come out yet, but it, it'll release soon. Uh, Always Smile, I've submitted it to all the big festivals, Sundance, all that good stuff. So I won't know about that film till 2025 if it's gotten in or not. And then at that point, I'll release it. But I, I haven't made any profits on the film. So I, I can tell you this, unless you get really lucky, you're probably not going to make money from your indie film. So that can't be, not to say that you can't, because I'm sure if you have a big enough budget, uh, a really good marketing strategy. I'm sure you can. There's people out there that are making money, but I just haven't cracked that, that equation yet. Um, so getting rich or making a lot of money from making movies is probably not going to happen. Um, like I said, you may get lucky, but it's probably not going to happen. So then the reason why I keep coming back to filmmaking is because I just love it. I enjoy it. I, it. It lights up my soul. When I'm, when I'm in, uh, uh, on set right, with my friends, all of the people that I act with, they're all my friends. They're like family now. right? We've done four movies together. And it's the same actors in every single film. They're like family to me. And when we're able to get on set and have that free time and collaborate and make something special, it's, it's truly like inspiring and, and captivating and, and you're, you're able to spend that time with people because sometimes you just don't know how valuable your time is to them and how valuable their time is to you, you know, that becomes very special, right? Um, so for me, I just enjoy it. I like making movies. Um, I like acting in them, directing, you know, just putting it together. And, that, and that's another like little point that I want to tell you all is don't ever let someone else tell you that you're not good enough to do it, that you're not a good actor, you're not a good director, you're not a good writer. Like, listen, I'm not a good actor, I'm, 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 not, I'm not a good director, writer, editor, I don't care, right? I make projects and I do the best that I can do at that time. 
right? And over time, you're gonna get better because I'm not the best in any of those fields. I'm probably average in every single one of those fields, right? But I enjoy doing it. In reality, that's all that matters. You know, you, I may never get an, an award. I may never get noticed. I may never work on a Hollywood budget. I may, who knows? But at least I know that when I reach the end of that chapter of my life, that I, you know, I did the things that I set out to do and they weren't a question. And that's the biggest motivator is like, you know, you want to look at life and say, hey, man, one day I'm going to be old or one day I'm not going to have the energy to, to, to pursue things the way I'm going to do now. And you just got to you got to go after it and you got to get it right. So once you once you answer that question, why you don't let people distract you, because what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of people distracting you because they're not following their dreams or they're not pursuing the things that really make them happy. So they're going to put that negative energy and burden onto you and say you can't do it or you shouldn't do it. But I'm telling you that you should do it. Number two is like, man, reach out to your local family and friends and local theater actors and stuff and be like, hey, I want to make this project. Are you guys down? Like, hey, what are you guys doing on a Saturday or Sunday? Let's go make this project. And, you know, you can't, you can't listen to people when they're telling you, like, oh, you need this big budget, you need this, you need that. Like, man, just go get your people together and start filming. Just, just start filming. The, thing, the biggest thing is you got to start. And once you start and once you go and once you start moving your feet, you're going to, like, make massive progress. And, you know, the world was created through motion. Even all of the life on this planet... The earth is constantly rotating and that's how it's created. So when you're making your projects, you got to just continue to, to move forward and continue to to just keep pressing. Right. And when you look at the scope of a film, my wife is dancing in the back. Uh, I love you. Um, when you when you're making a project, you never want to look at it as this big Goliath asteroid of a thing. You want to look at the project as what can I accomplish today? in this small space and that's what I'm gonna accomplish. So, you know, for all of you out there, man, you wanna get motivated, you wanna like, like set your plan in motion and, and write that contract to yourself, like, man, I'm gonna get it done. It's just like when you're committed to your job or you're committed to that, put that same commitment towards your own passion projects, to the thing that makes you tick and make you wanna get up in the morning and the, the visions you have in life. Like life is really short, it's really short. It's really short. So you got to, you got to get after it. You got to get after it. And I can tell you this. My first film isn't that good. Rex Park, Curse of the Golden Buddha. Uh, Four Amigos, we, re, uh, we released it on Amazon Prime Tubi. We recut it into Fast Atlanta. Uh, there's like two versions on YouTube, a Furious Fast Atlanta and a Fast Atlanta. If you're into that kind of stuff, I suggest watching Fast Atlanta because that was like the most recent recut, re-edit, recolor grade. Uh, Pizza Boy Rick is cool. Always Smile is probably my best work to date. And then now we're about to go into Rhino King. And I, I kind of say all that to say this is like, because I've done those things, if I never did another movie again, or if I never got a call from Hollywood, or I never acted in a project, or I never did anything like that, because I did those projects, I am, I'm good. Like, I'm so good. Like, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't hurt my soul anymore because I've accomplished those things. And I can tell you this. If you don't do it, your soul will hurt as you get older. And as you get older, when you watch films or you watch actors, you're going to compare yourself. You're going to say, man, I could have did this. I could have did that. You don't want to ever tell yourself I could have. You want to tell yourself I did. The outcome is irrelevant, right? Whether the project makes a lot of money or it doesn't, whether it's seen by 10 people or 10,000 people, it's irrelevant. It's the fact that you did it. I'm Jason Park with Hyper 2 Productions, and I hope you're motivated to make your film.